Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Today is Wednesday, March 29th, and you read that title right. Your girls registered for a half marathon. Oh my gosh. All right, so grab some coffee, some tea. We're about to sit down. I need to let you guys know how this unintentionally happened. If you follow me on Instagram, then you already know because you guys got like the play by play of what happened. Um, so if you want to skip to how I plan to like um, manage this whole situation, you can skip to that. Or if you want to skip to the weigh-in, you can do that as well. But for the rest of you, I gotta tell you guys how I register for this half marathon. All right, so I even have my coffee with me. I'm about to spill the tea. All right, so I don't know if you guys saw my Google tags, like getting things done, the video, the last video. But on March 21st, the registration for the Disney Wine and Dine 10K was opening. Now you guys know I've been walking walking like eight miles, six miles, 10 miles, like no problem. I've just been walking it and really, really enjoying it. Also doing some hiking. So my intention was to register for the Disney Wine and Dine 10K. I have been wanting to do that race for so long. I actually mentioned over on Instagram that I was wanting to do it like ever since I think like 2020. However, you know, Facebook and the memories, there was a message that popped up. I'll put it here. It popped up in Facebook memories from like 2013 where I was like, all right, let's do this one. And so I'm just like, wow. And it was actually for the Disney half marathon at the time. I was just like, okay, wow. But anyways, so I went to go register. I'm gonna try to like make the like not as drawn out. So I went to go register for the Disney Wine and Dine. Registration opened at 10 a.m. The way that Disney does it is like, they open registration and then you go into this queue and the races sell out really fast. Like they can sell out in an hour or whatever. Um, and I'm not like a special tier member like where you pay the membership. I think it's like, I don't wanna say $800 a year. I don't know. But there's a membership they have where you can like get your registrations a lot easier. But I'm just regular folks. All right, so I log in at 10.06 and I'm like, okay, okay, this gotta be it. So then I get the, a message that says, basically you've been placed in queue. Um, when it's your time, you know, you'll be able to register. And there, it also mentioned that there was over one hour of a wait time. Keep in mind, I'm working, right? This is a work day. So I was like, okay, fine. I'll just keep, it says, do not close this browser. Don't close the window. So fine, I can work and keep that browser open. No problem. Thank you, iPhone. So I'm working, I see one patient, I come out and it still hadn't come down like from the one hour. Then I go, I see another patient, I come out, it says 59 minutes. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is happening. I was getting so excited because to me, if it says 59 minutes, because I click like 10K to register, right? Like when you first go in, it's like you have to choose which race. So I click 10K. So I'm assuming I am registering for a 10K, right? So it goes on, I go see another patient, I come out and it says, you have 14 minutes and I'm leaving this patient, driving to the next patient. And I get to the next patient and it's like, you have 11 minutes. But then it starts dropping and I'm like, holy cow, okay, I'm just gonna sit out here before I go in and like see if I can get in. So then the countdown starts, it's like five minutes, four minutes. And then it says, you have one minute. And then it's like, we are putting you through. And I'm like, ah! And in that moment, like as it's putting me through, I'm just being, I'm like showing so much gratitude. I'm like, thank you God, you know, like this is happening because honestly guys, the reason I wanted to do the 10K and I was gonna come and announce to you guys that I was doing a 10K is because I've been so relaxed, like in my walks and in my runs. So I was like, maybe I need to turn my intensity up a little bit. This would be a fun challenge. And Disney does an amazing job on their races. I actually did one of their races back in 2005. It was my first half marathon actually, where I was really young and fast and I finished it in like two hours and 10 minutes. But at this age and this weight, I have no, I had no desire to do a half marathon. 10K would have been plenty. And a 10K is 6.2 miles for those that don't know. And a half marathon is 13.1 miles. So it's putting me through. And then I'll show you guys a screenshot right here. It says, I go to register for the 10K and it says sold out. What? Oh my gosh. I was so, I was like so, I just felt like disappointed, like not defeated, but it was like, I really wanted to do it. And just imagine like you've been 
waiting for something on hold all day for something and or like like let's say you're in line and you're waiting for i don't know like let's just say like i don't know you're waiting for a certain type of eggs and you're in line you're waiting for these eggs and then it finally opens and it's finally your time to go into the store and you realize like they don't have the eggs that you wanted like do you leave the store without getting eggs all together because you're just pissed that they don't have the eggs that you want you know you've been waiting for like three hours but you still need to get that goal of like whether it be making a cake or like whatever it is you still need the eggs like i still felt like i needed this like something to give me a little bit of a push a little bit of a boost on this weight loss journey um so that i could challenge myself because I, I i do love a good challenge so what do i do i registered for the half marathon and here's why you can see in the picture the 5k was available and i love disney races but i am not paying you guys 100 bucks for a 5k like i shouldn't say that because knowing me i'll do it next year but at the time that was my thought process like my community has 5k's like every weekend so i don't have to go to disney to do a 5k like that not that i'm knocking it but for me a 5k is like i'm comfortable there you guys know like i'm already i just told you i'm already walking 10 8 10 miles like i'm already comfortable with the 5k i needed something that was gonna push me so yeah <laughs> All right, so let's talk a little bit about how I plan to manage this. You know, I, I'll i talk about my running journey at some other point. Maybe I'll do a whole nother video if you guys wanna see that because you saw, hold on, let me go grab them. I mean, you guys see, like these are all mine. They're not, not like mine and the kids. Like there's a few half marathon, there's a Clearwater Iron Girl half marathon. This is Miami Man where I bike, ran, it was like a duathlon, ran, bike, and then ran. You know, like there's, here's the Disney one right here where I did Disney before. It was a really fun race. Um, here's a Key West half marathon. So yeah, I've definitely done them before. Oh, let me show you. This is the one. I know I talked about, I'll tell you my running journey lady, later, but let me give you a little little bit of an update of what happened. I had actually registered for um, the Disney full marathon 2014, and I tore my Achilles, like I injured my Achilles in 2013, 2012, 2012 or 2013, and I had, you know, started rehabbing, and I went back earlier than I was supposed to, and I re-injured myself. Maybe it was 2011, and I gave myself a year, yeah. And then finally I had went back and I was training for the um, Disney full marathon. And this race right here is the one that took me out. So I did this red ribbon half marathon and it was fine like during it. And because I allowed, you know what? Let me take that back. I don't want to blame the race. It was not the race. It was me. This race was very hilly. And when you're training that kind of distance, like it is so important to stretch and ice and like just take care of your body right because you're beating yourself up intentionally but you have to take care of your body and after i did that race the following weekend instead of backing all of my marathon like training i went out and i did 16 miles so i did 13 miles the hilly one and i felt my achilles was not right and then i turned right back around and did 16 miles and within all of that i was not stretching i wasn't doing any of that stuff and i injured myself pretty badly so my thought process is that yes i'm going to do this half marathon i actually went out sunday and i did 10 miles oh let me tell you guys so here is here's the part that made me nervous about doing disney because disney is one of those races where they have like a time cap like you have to maintain a 16 minute mile in order to not get picked up by the buses so i was kind of nervous about that because i'll show you guys here i just been walking like you know 20 minute miles 21 minute miles 22 a couple times i did like 17 when i did a little bit of jogging and i was kind of nervous because i'm i was nowhere near that but this weekend i did go out and i did 10 miles and i just wanted to see what it would feel like and i walked three minutes and jogged i'm gonna start saying running i mean i am claiming this i'm gonna start saying running so i walked three minutes and ran ran one minute and my pace I'll put it here so that made me feel a little bit better and then yesterday I actually walked two minutes and ran one minute for a four miler and my pace is like it's coming down I was like 15 35 maybe I don't know so I feel like by November I should be able to I should be able to finish this race <laughs> oh gosh it still blows
blows my mind though that I registered for this half marathon and I'm like, what is this? You know, like was this some deep desire that I had like lying dormant and I was just afraid to um, like verbalize it or vocalize it. Like I actually sat and I journaled a little bit and like, the things that I had been journaling about before, they, it wasn't about like the half marathon, but like I can now see where I needed the half marathon in order to, the training for the half marathon in order to help me achieve some of these other goals. I can see where that's adding up because I actually have a 5K, like a mud run that I've had already registered for months ago with some friends that's coming up April 9th, I believe. And now that I'm training for a half marathon, that 5K does not seem bad at all. And then I have another 5K uh, mud run in May. So now all of this just seems like, like the fear of the 5K is gone because girl, you, you, you're doing 13.1. And I can also see where, yeah, there's just some more things. Like I, oh, I'll have to do a video to tell you guys about like how I think I also have like this, I'll, I'll talk about all that later. So yeah, like that's, your girl has registered for a half marathon. So I plan to continue. So I plan to continue with my walk run. I'll show you guys like some of the essentials that I use for running in another video. I can tell you that I no longer have a desire to run the whole thing. I think that's why I was a little nervous and afraid for because originally my plan was to run the entire 10K. Like that was going to be my goal. But now that I'm training for this half marathon, I can see where the run walk, like my Achilles, it's not bothering me very much at all, even with that 10 miler, but my plantar fascia on the right side, um, during mile eight was a little, it was kind of like, not screaming at me, but it was like, hey, hey girl. That was during the run on the eighth mile, but then I noticed that walking, it just kind of like settled down again. So I now understand and see the benefit of the run walk. All right, so let's talk about the weigh-in. So regarding the weigh-in, you guys saw in two videos ago, I talked about how I had gained 11 freaking pounds. Um, if you want the details, go back and watch that video. And then in last week's video, I uploaded. My plan was to do like an each day. I don't even know why I thought I can do that. With my work schedule, like there is no way currently that, I mean, there is a way. I would have to neglect a lot of other things in my life in order to upload every day. So I, I'm sorry, I should not have said that. If I pissed you off, I pissed myself off. <laughs> I was like, why did you say that? All right, so what happened is whenever I film videos and footage, <clears throat> it actually, it takes quite some time and the editing takes a lot of time. So I was like running into like, do you film and edit? Or, you know, and like cut your workout short or like cut other things short or like the goal, I'm still trying to lose weight. Like that is my goal. So sometimes I just have to get the workout done and I don't really have time to share it. And I, I, I know that there will come a time in my life where I have more space because I really do want to share with you guys but sometimes it's just a time crunch of trying to make it all happen that's all it's not that I don't love you because I do it's not that I don't appreciate you because I do so you guys saw in that video I weighed in at 228 pounds and then the following day I did a weigh in and I weighed in at I think it was like 225 point something I had lost like 2.4 pounds so the end of the week I'll put it here I weighed in at 221.4 pounds so that's a loss of almost seven pounds right within a week so i think that's pretty good my whole point of that was just showing you guys like the different ways that different people's body responds to stress or trauma um i knew that i had not gained like yeah 11 pounds of fat like i knew that you guys knew it too like you got in the comment section you guys were like yeah that's definitely water retention right currently i'm 221.4 I will share with you guys that my goal for this half marathon is I've never run a half marathon over 200 pounds. I've been a larger runner before. Like I've been like 180. Um, I think the most I've probably ever run, completed a race was probably like around 187-ish, 186 somewhere around there. So my goal for November, I'm not gonna lie, is I need to get under 200 pounds. And now it's not even about like for weight loss, it's just about the biomechanics. And I don't wanna put more weight on my joints, more stress on my joints than I have to. So, but I'm not putting any pressure either. You know, like I, I'm just wanting to take my time and listen to my body and just trust myself, continue to trust myself throughout this entire process. I'll come back later because this video is already getting kind of long and I'll talk to you guys about like how I'm training. I'll talk to you guys about 
the way that I'm eating because I still plan around with all of that. Just kind of trying to find my way. I'm still fasting. That's one thing I could definitely say that I've noticed a difference between fasted rum than in comparison to when I used to run before. So, oh yeah, and then when I did that, um, when I ran that Disney half marathon and I finished it in like two hours and 10 minutes, I think I was around 150 something pounds at the time. But at that time, like I wasn't really focused on like weight. I was just training. And I, the reason why I'm sharing the weight with you guys, honestly, is because I, I do want to hold myself accountable so that I can become lighter on my feet. But for me, for me, like on the day-to-day -day basis as I'm going through life, I'm really not focused on the weight part. I'm just focused on trying to maintain good habits and trying to become more fit and lean and like building my endurance. Like I'm really, it's kind of cool. Like I told you guys, there's so many things that have come up, but like I feel like an athlete again. <laughs> I do like I feel like an athlete again and I love this feeling I even went and bought new workout clothes if you guys want to haul thumbs up this video and let me know can you see this outfit it's not really an outfit it doesn't even really go together but I actually went and bought myself I treated myself to some new workout clothes and I've got a lot coming up I have a trip where I'm going hiking later this month um this month as in April, not March. There's just a lot and I'm really starting to feel so good. You guys, I'm not, I'm not leaving. Like, I know sometimes my posting is not like scheduled or only like one video a week or something like that, but I'm not leaving this channel. I'm not, and I'm not leaving my goal. You know, I, I'm here, like I'm here and I'm putting in the work. So even when I'm not showing up here, like doing a video, I am definitely, you can trust that behind the scene, I'm putting in the work. I'm actually, I got an email about a triathlon and they have a duathlon part attached. So I've even been thinking about that a little bit, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I mean, it's in June, so I could do it like just to finish it, but I want to continue to build a base for running and see how that goes before I hop back on the bike for, to try to finish a 12 mile race. Okay, this video is getting like kind of chatty, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Please, as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have have any questions for me at all please put it down in the comment section and I hope you guys are okay with me talking about and sharing about my running journey along the way I would love to share like how I'm training what I'm eating just all of that stuff you know as long as you guys are well I don't care if you're not okay with it, I'm still gonna share it anyways just don't watch those videos but I will continue to do weekly weigh-ins here on the channel all right guys I love you guys so much I really appreciate you I really hope that you guys are having a great week I'm having a good week like it's just busy with work you know and that's the thing about working in healthcare is that you can't turn off human lives like you can't you know like I think with certain businesses certain parts of life you can just turn it off or put it to the side or just ignore it but you can't do that with human life I know you know you understand what I'm saying all right guys I gotta go I gotta get this workout in talk to you later bye